From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. Today's Daily Dose of Weird News is brought to you by Send Out Cards. Why spend hours at the store looking for the perfect card, then driving to the post office to get stamps for it when you don't even have to leave the house? Do it all at SendOutCards.com slash weird and create your own greeting card like those fancy ones you find in gift shops. They'll even deliver it for you. Try it now absolutely free at SendOutCards.com slash weird. That's SendOutCards.com slash weird. In Germany, an alleged guitar thief was caught after trying to serenade a group of prostitutes with the stolen instrument. The police noticed the man on a street trying to play the guitar for the women who didn't seem all that interested. Probably because prostitutes go for guys with money and street musicians don't have any. How much money would it take to get you to lose some serious weight? $100? $500? Many employers are betting they can find your price. At least a third of U.S. companies offer financial incentives or are planning to introduce them to get their employees to lose weight or get healthier in other ways. You know, this would totally work for me. I love this idea. I mean, do you have any idea how many McDonald's Extra Value meals of $500 could buy? A transgender woman will fight a man at an MMA event in Brazil next month, marking the first publicized matchup of its kind in the history of the sport. Ann Variado, a 21-year-old brown belt in Brazilian jiu-jitsu, will take on Railson Paixo in a strawweight bout on March 10th. Variado says, "...it's only fair to fight men. It never crossed my mind to fight a woman because I think I'm too good. I don't think it's fair to fight women." Yeah, you know, at one point I believe Ronda Rousey felt that same way. Canadian pairs skater Megan Duhamel, a two-time world champion, rescued her mini dachshund Mute from a South Korean meat farm last February. So I guess those people will have to get their hot dogs elsewhere. A recent study finds that drinking more beer could lower women's risk of having a heart attack by 30 percent. So you gotta ask, what's more important, your heart or your liver? Sports Illustrated has revealed Danielle Harrington will be on the cover of next week's swimsuit issue. You know, I will never understand how this world works anymore. I mean, we have women demanding respect, not wanting to be treated simply as sex objects, and men being fired from their jobs for treating them that way, and yet we have the annual swimsuit issue. Does anybody see the hypocrisy here? A recent survey conducted by The Knot revealed that 65 percent of couples are failing to factor the honeymoon into their wedding budgets. Hey, no problem. Skip the $20,000 wedding that only lasts 45 minutes. Use half that money for a great honeymoon, pay off your bills with the rest of it, send everybody a postcard with an address to where to send the gifts. There you go. Problem solved. Hey, it worked for us. A male University of Arizona cheerleader was ejected for heckling an Arizona State player during a recent Pac-12 game. Arizona State guard Remy Martin was at the free-throw line in the second half when the cheerleader's heckling caught the attention of longtime Pac-12 official Randy McCall, who stared down the cheerleader just before he said into a megaphone, "'Not today, Remy!' Well, McCall then reportedly walked over to the scorer's table and said, "'This guy needs to get out of here.'" McCall adds of the cheerleader, "'He was yelling, using the megaphone to call out people by name, which is not acceptable, and he was asked to please stop, and he chose not to.'" You know, Remy, he could have heckled him back. Oh, yeah, well, you're a cheerleader who's also a man, so what's up with that? A lock of George Washington's hair was discovered in an envelope along with a note tucked into a book at the Union College Library in New York. And we know it's real because it came with a note that said, I cannot tell a lie. This is my hair. The study says chemicals found in food wrappers are linked to weight gain. Okay, well, here's a crazy idea. Don't eat the food wrappers! Lamar Chambers was arrested last month in the UK and charged with two counts of possession with intent to supply a Class A drug, failing to stop, and driving without insurance. Police believe the alleged dope dealer swallowed a large supply of unidentified drugs during the stop and they've got him locked up waiting for the drugs to uh, reappear on the other end. But so far, he has not passed the evidence, and it's currently been about a month now since he's taken a dump. Yeah. You know what? I, when, when the drugs do finally show back up, I think they should just let Lamar off. I mean, with time served. Ouch. While we're talking poop, 
In Alberg, Vermont, Mark Johnson is finally admitted to spraying manure all over a U.S. Customs and Border Protection cruiser last summer. Police say Johnson sprayed the cruiser back in August after a profanity-laced tirade about why more wasn't being done to arrest immigrants in the country illegally. He initially said he didn't know the car was nearby when he turned on his manure spreader. In a plea deal, Johnson admitted to charges of simple assault on a law enforcement officer with fluids and disorderly conduct. He'll be required to do 24 hours of community service and write an apology. I think you should also have to wash the car. I mean, you should have seen that thing. It looked like it was dipped in chocolate. A recent study says a simple email can significantly raise your stress levels. Researchers watched 30 government employees as they worked and measured their stress levels throughout the day. When emails started coming in, 83% reported quicker pulse and higher blood pressure. In other words, email spam is literally killing you. Mike Pence is not happy with Joy Behar of ABC's The View after she said of the Veep's religious beliefs, it's one thing to talk to Jesus, it's another thing when Jesus talks to you. That's called mental illness. Really? Then what would you say if a man said this? But I heard the voice of Jesus saying still to fight on. Is that guy mentally ill too? Because that was Martin Luther King Jr. McDonald's says it's going to make their Happy Meals healthier worldwide by the year 2022. You know, unless they're planning on just making the box itself edible and putting nothing inside of it, I don't see how they plan on accomplishing this with the current Mickey D's menu. A study says people who laugh at themselves with self-depreciating humor are more likely to have greater psychological well-being. Why do I feel like I'm an argument against that? French researchers are saying that high-processed foods, such as cakes, breads, and chicken nuggets, are linked to cancer. See, now that is why I always demand free-range chicken McNuggets in my Happy Meal. I mean, that just sounds healthier, doesn't it? An Arizona woman went to bed with a pounding headache, only to wake up speaking in a British accent. So she went to sleep pained and woke up pompous. A woman is suing Walmart after slipping on ranch dressing in the men's shoe department. Ranch dressing in the men's shoe department. What, do loafers now come with a free trip to the salad bar? Hey, how about edible shoes for the new McDonald's healthy Happy Meal? Researchers have discovered that monkeys who experience increased hormonal reactions to stress while infants are more likely to consume large amounts of alcohol as they reach adulthood. They also found that male monkeys drank more than females, and those raised without adult contact drank more than those raised with their mothers. Right, hold on a second here. Since when are monkeys ever prone to becoming alcoholics? I mean, shouldn't they also say in the study that monkeys are more prone to drink when scientists force them to drink alcohol? Hello? D don't you dare try to associate this study with what happens to humans. We don't have men in white lab coats coming to us and forcing tequila down our gullets. What has this study got to do with anything relevant to the human existence? <sighs> Getting monkeys plastered. Your tax dollars hard at work. Become a patron of the show and get exclusive content just for official weirdos. Get the details at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. And if you like scary, true stories, check out my other podcast at WeirdDarkness.com. For Daily Dose of Weird News, I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos!